I will be the first to admit to having mixed feelings about how strong girl Nam soon ended. There was no redemption for Ryu Seo. I can't recall when last I liked and hated a villain at the same time. Seo's story is such a sad one. He was doomed to fail from the start, and it's sad that he took his own life. Having said that, I also can't wrap my head around the fact that I'm sympathetic toward a murderous villain who killed Waja. I can't believe he treated the woman he claimed to have loved the way he did. But I guess everyone deserves a second chance. It would have been good if he had served time for his many sins instead of dying. Nam Soon and Hisik got engaged. Their kids are going to be so cute. They are perfect for each other in every way. Nam Soon chose the right path by deciding to be a police officer. This will be one of the things she and Hisik will have in common. Grandma finally found something to do other than love Junhee. She's become a champion for the exploited elderly. I will also admit that I was wrong about Junhee, that man totally loves Grandma. It's nice how he sick and his team were recognized for their astounding efforts, they really went through a lot and lost a colleague. Having said that, please, where do we apply to be Junja's in-law? This family has superpowers, a good sense of patriotism, and believes in second chances. Talks are currently on the ground for Jiamju and Bongo to get back together. Who would have suspected that Mr. Bread, who likes bread, is nose? He's the worst of the worst and was right under their noses the whole time. Now he has it out for Jiamju. She now has a target on her back because she knows so much about the organization. Who's ready for a third season? This time, it looks like we will have a male superhero instead of a lady. Jiamju has set out to employ him on a mission against Pavel. I guess the next season will be about Jiamju and her male superhero taking on Mr. Bread, who's the successor to Pavel. My heart is still mixed with feelings for the lonely and lost CO, who sorted out his biological father but never got to have a relationship with him. How do you feel about CO's death? And how excited are you for season 3? Let's know your thoughts in the comment section below. Stick around for all the updates on your favorite shows. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell. Thanks for watching. Bye.